Yeah, house is getting snuggy. It's going to be a shame when I have to leave it, and I am completely aware that I will have to leave this house. This is not a forever home. Not even slightly. But, uh, let's unpack this and then place it. I'm learning. Like, getting sheets and putting them on doors. That seems like such a stupidly easy thing to do, but it's the first time I've done it. You know? someone someone didn't it didn't they didn't end well that is a shame but uh yeah let's make sure that didn't lure all of the zombies for miles around as far as i'm aware they're going to be adding npcs and hunting in the next patch that is going to be amazing what makes this bad to stay at well, it's not easily defensible. I, with time, I'm sure I could make it defensible, but there's a lot of better options, is, is the gist that I have gotten. There is significantly better options. Uh, let's go ahead and take you apart. Um, effectively, zombies are stupid. These are not 28-day-later zombies that have some degree of... Uh, that are basically humans with the, with ultra advanced rabies who are just feral with with anger and violence. These are instead actual deadites. So their higher brain functions are gone. They do not understand. Get from A to B. Do this. Do that. So as a consequence of that, you've got a lot more, uh, a lot significantly more uh, breadth to the, the way you defend yourself. You build a tall enough fence, they don't know how to climb over it. You barricade all the doors and the windows, they probably wouldn't think to try and get through, depending on, on what's happening. If you build just a, a wall around your encampment, you're probably going to be safe. But what you could do then is, um, like for example, a second story window. You could... Is that a... No, I can't take that apart. That's a shame. Um, what about these? Can I take these apart? They probably need a screwdriver. A welder mask and a propane torch. Never mind. Um, but other tools you might use would be... Oh, actually, I want to take these curtains. Uh, so, if you're on a second story, you could perhaps um, have a, like a rope ladder. They're too stupid to climb a rope ladder. 28 days later, zombies would be straight up that thing. They'd be up it faster than you could be up it, which is the problem. Uh, let's take this apart. And that's the difference. So, the fact that we've got a single story to defend means that we're going to have to work a, a lot harder to defend it. But we could build all sorts of things uh, around this in order to make it a little bit more, uh, more safe for us. We need to go back to the house to catch the 12 o'clock show. Oh, I'm moist. Uh, look, okay, fine. I'm nothing if not fair. I was not fast enough to stop Bilal on that one. If Bilal wants to quote me, I brought that on myself. Have I not got a sheet? Add sheet, there we go. I don't like that sound. Uh, you're safe, Havoc. I'm only halfway paying attention. Ah, oh, we're safe, chat. Have you been playing with Sprinter Zombies in Project Zomboid? It's nearly impossible. I haven't played with Sprinter Zombies, now. NPCs have been coming soon for like five years, so I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, okay, fair enough, uh, Bellicosity. <laughs> that's, that's completely fair. 
That is completely fair. Uh, the, these devs have had a had a storied past. You teaching me how to make a bed? I'm totally okay with that. Let's sit on the ground. I need to cool down a bit, though. Six planks, four nails, one mattress. Bang, bang, yeehaw! There she is. The best, uh, but the best drive can wait. Uh, we've done the exciting stuff. But I've also got to show you how to make a large table. It's no bed, and that's for sure. Take six planks and four nails. Bang, bang. Neat, huh? Next time, I'm taking y'all upstairs. On stairs! Till next time. Okay. We will learn about stairs next time. Uh, we can't close the shutters, which is really annoying me, actually. Really annoying me. Oh, what I would give for such things. Um... I not have enough nails or planks nearby? Apparently not. I thought I did. Is it the... Eh. No. Hmm. Curious? Do I have nails over here? No. Oh well. Honestly, I should probably put the screws into my uh, toolbox. Seems like a good idea. Uh, I haven't tried pu pulling up the floorboards though, no. Are we frozen? No, good. Good, 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 good. I am actually pretty happy with what we've been doing so far. I love the fact that you can barricade from the outside. That is, that is a big thing for me. It sounds silly, but I, I am very impressed with that. Uh, right, create a stew. Steak, meat patty, meat patty. Okay, well, it's going to be a very meaty stew. It's fine. It's actually quite good, in fact. A lot of protein. Plenty of energy. Especially if it's a fatty meat, too. Yeah, the nails of the planks are on the floor next to the TV, but I'm, I'm assuming that I... Oh, I probably need them in my inventory. Okay. Yeah, well, I was assuming that I wouldn't need that. I was assuming that I would be able to just uh, pull from there, but okay. All right, let's go ahead and pop this in here. Meat stew. Turn on. Switch over to NNR radio. Oh, gotta turn on first. Our award winning breakfast menu is back through public demand. Come visit I Heart Walk and Rolls today. Really? Have I had a helicopter event? No, not on this run. This is NNR. Good afternoon. Shocking details continue to emerge from Kentucky. While America asks, is the event truly contained? Those who suffer from the infection prey on the healthy. While survivors' testimony claims the military have been holding civilians suspected of contact with the illness inside the exclusion zone. As of last night, however, many found freedom. Curfew officials talking to NNR have refused to comment. 
that the Knox event, uh, their assurance that the Knox event is contained. A briefing from General John McCrew is expected this evening. Curfew will be enforced until further notice. Pop that in balls. Get a hot. Let's pop it in there. That should warm up very quickly. Eat all. Thanks for giving a mild distraction as I paint some 40k models. Tau at the moment. And also being a calming effect while the rest of the world goes crazy. And that goes for chat as well. Aww. Thermac uh, uh, Thermachius? I hope I said your name right. That's very nice of you to say. Thank you. Also, with this bowl, can I make a fruit salad? I can. Alright, let's make a fruit salad. Be something for us to eat later. It's currently a grapefruit salad. And add more stuff. More random fruits. I'm going to get the best out of this that I can. But I need to start hitting up the other houses nearby as well. Oh! Crap! 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 No! No fire today, Satan! My lord. This is a very nice fruit salad. Wow. Okay. Yes, that was a lot of craps. But I'll... With good reason, I feel. I almost burnt the house down. Would have been a bad day. Yeah, it looks like I need more nails to barricade an area than just one. That's fine. Okay. Growing much more confident with my house. That makes me ultra worried that I'm about to lose it. Uh, sure. Not sure what we're going to get from this, but I'll happily take it apart and find out. Nails, good. I have no idea if scrap wood is useful. I'm kind of figuring it'll be useful as kindling. I could probably just leave it wherever, though, without much in the way of uh, worry. Right, I'm going to strip this entire house down. Oh, actually, I could tear the floorboards up in this house. Every time someone suggested it previously, I was like, why would I want to tear up the floors in my own house? That seems silly. But no, that makes a lot of sense. I could also take this television with me, but I think I'm going to leave it here. That in here instead. Anything I can take apart. There's item on surface. So I need to... Yeah, I need to be able to take... <laughs> that amuses me. Uh, yeah, that's not happening. Hey, Alex. Your Captain of Industry beta playthrough has been awesome to watch. It's episode 5 to you anytime soon. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've had some uh, adulting to do. 
uh, which kind of took a lot of my time. But it is absolutely on the cards. Hopeful that I'm getting much better carpentry at this point. What I really need to do is read the carpentry book. Really need to read the carpentry book. But it's Ray, adieu. Adieu, uh, adieu, I read. But it was actually that they probably hit enter too soon and they went to say adulting sucks. Very well. Let's grab what's left here and then we're going to head on back across the other area and we should have enough now to do at least a bit of fortifying. I know that at different levels of skill, you can do different things. What I need is a shovel so I can bury the dead, frankly. Get as much of this done as we can. Yep, you can construct your own buildings, Leafing. Yep, 100%. You, can build, well, you can't build a house like this. Like, you can't plaster the walls and such. But you can do that. You can build. Bit hot. Just gonna dry myself off. Let's have a bit of a drink. Right, do we have any good carpentry books? Cooking for intermediates, three to four. Might be able to do that for cooking. Yes, I would. Uh, electricity for intermediates, tailoring for beginners, experts. Let's uh, type. Does this sort them? No, not really. This should, though. Mechanics for beginners, expert mechanics. Got some VHS. You can, like, I'm trying not to miss the shows. But it is absolutely possible for you to miss all of the shows. But to go to, like, a video store, because this is the, the 90s, so you'd go to, like, a, I, I don't know, is it Blockbuster in this? I have no idea. Uh, but I know that you can go to a, a video store, get a video, and watch it on the television to have the cookery show. Like, there'll be videos for the various different episodes and so on and so forth. I think that's amazing. Legitimately cool. My weight is still slowly going up. I'm for being forced to get barrel trauma by Severe and Ryan. That is amazing, yeah. Barrel trauma is super fun. Though, here's another... Barrel trauma is one of those interesting ones, okay? So... It's a bit, a bit of an, a mixed bag. But... Barrier Commander looks amazing. Like, it's... It, it's a bit like if you took the idea of, of, you know, running a sub, less Eldritch Horrors and stuff like that. And, like, Barrow Trauma seems like you can, you can accidentally mess the entire run up, which is where a lot of the hilarity comes from. However, Carrier Commander seems like there's less opportunity for accidentally messing things up and more just like squad based fun.
Oh my god, you've summoned Bantham! Did someone say barrel trauma? Fappling to give to put this into perspective for you. Saying barrel trauma is to Bentham what saying board games is to my. You only have to mention it. And they will be there. Their petronanthral sense will start to tingle. They will know that somewhere, someone has thought about something. They can sense the mini vortices in the electromagnetic field that is connecting all of our brains. It's true. Don't say this, Avak. Maya is asleep. No, she's not. She's already rousing. If I said it again, she'd probably log in. I did actually see it, Manga Pork, and that's what, that's what Carrier Command jumped to my mind, yeah. It was a great stream. I really enjoyed watching you guys playing it. I was this close to picking it up and, and just being like, Suprende! in Discord. And like, I'm here now. I am joining. This close! I would, of course, completely cock everything up by accident. Even though I just finished saying that, that Carry Command is a game where you can cock things up less by accident than in Barotrauma. Which is a, is a statement that I stand by. I feel that Barotrauma, you can very easily accidentally kill everyone on the sub. Carry Command seems to me a little bit more forgiving in that regard. <laughs> seems you have to be a little, little bit more intentional about, about messing everything up, but uh, I might be wrong about that. I need to sleep. Time to sleep. Bunk. Never woke in. Oh. No, <laughs> I was concerned there, chat. So concerned. I was very much worried. Seeing the television on is a good thing. I thought for a second the power had gone out. Because it can go out at any point at this, uh, this stage. Uh, I'm going to eat, uh, sure, half of my fruit salad. I went to bed quite early in the day. It was at about seven. So, you know, I've had enough time. This is a fairly decent sleep to me. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't like that light beam. I'm going to have to turn it off. Uh, no, more carpentry time. Actually, I really should go into some of the other houses to get the food. That's a solid suggestion, actually, pa uh, Pandora. I'll just strip this chair, grab what I can from it, and uh, take it back to the other house. Then I'm going to head out and grab some more food. Oh, three nails, nice. Scrap, wood scrap, not so great, but that's fine. There are a good many houses nearby. I needed to have a system to show that I have looted a house. Or that I've cleared a house, I've looted a house, I've stripped it of all useful components. That's going to be my map marker setup. So, on that note, I need to grab my pens.
you know, Jester. Look, can I use the pens that are in this right now? No. Okay, fair enough. Let's uh, grab one. Grab... Right, so what's the system I'm going to use? Blue is probably better for, like, good things. Like, there is a car here. There is loot here. So I'll mark it blue if I've killed all of the zombies inside. Mark it red if it's still unsafe. Or if I know it to be unsafe because of something else. Mark it grey... If I've looted it. Oh, actually, mark it red, uh, black if I've looted it. Grey if I've stripped it all of all materials completely. There's nothing of any value left there. Go with that. Currently in my home. This one I have cleared of danger. I haven't stripped it clean yet. I have right red if it's if it's dangerous, but I'll like use an X um, for that. So, for example, I still haven't cleaned this out. I have cleaned this out. So let's say, have I stripped it of everything worth looting? Probably not. So I'm going to put an O on that. I've got all sorts of little things here, actually. This marking. This is currently the focus of my efforts to strip. But I haven't even been to these houses yet. I think I may have been to one or two over there, but uh, we're going to go down here. They're bigger houses. I'll need to do a quick sweep of this house so I can mark it off my list. Um, since I'm not going out to strip anything down, tools-wise, I'm going to put all my tools into my toolbox and leave the toolbox here. There's no point in me taking all of that. So let's equip that on the secondary. And move the saw into it. And move my hammer into it. There we are. I am actually going to put the nails and... Uh, screws in there as well. I think that makes sense. Keep them together. Man, it's rough when you don't have night sight. I, I got that on, on my uh, my kind of medic build. Oh, do I? No, no, I don't. Sorry. I think I had it on one of the other ones that I, I made. And it's surprisingly big difference. Surprisingly big difference. Adhesive tape maybe in there? Sure, let's pop adhesive tape in there. This seems like a thing that you'd put duct tape in as well. Thread, I'll leave thread out. But now that I've done that... We'll leave the toolbox here. Drink half of my orange soda. Well, you can make a legend if you want by putting the symbols, then a note beside it. So, oh, what a fantastic idea. That is sincerely a great idea. You usually leave the doors open for looted. I will tell you why I probably wouldn't do that. Um, zombies. And I know this from having read the uh, the paper the devs wrote on their behavioral tree that they use for the AI. Um, this was one of the, uh, some of the blog posts that I um, compiled notes for for my degree. Um, they use a behavioral tree. They explain some of the details on how they do that. 
Um, for example, if you tell a character how to get in, to just get into a house, it'll go through a, a bunch of different things, blah, blah, blah. It'll, it'll try and find a way in, try and puzzle a way to achieve that goal uh, using a what's called a behavioral tree. Now, the zombies also do this. But when zombies are following someone, they have got an extremely high chance of being distracted by doors and windows. If the door is open, they will not get distracted by it. If the door is closed, then there is a chance the zombie will assume that the player is inside the house beyond the door and will stop to try and break the door down to get inside the house to find it. So I will leave all the doors closed because if I want to try and lose a zombie by, you know, um, skirting the wall and just ducking out of sight as it comes around the other corner, it's quite likely to think to try and break down the door instead because it's dumb. So I would rather keep them around for that reason specifically. Uh, you don't have to, of course. This is just a suggestion. Uh, again, I am a very new player, so you might have an amazing reason why that is just dumb. But uh, from what I recall of, uh, of the article that they wrote on the behavior tree, that is definitely how I would approach it make use of that as much as I'm able. Yeah, taking the curtains down, now that is a solid, solid idea, yeah. Pretty solid idea, that one. But yeah, the devs, uh, the devs wrote some amazing articles on the AI they, they put into the game. I actually used uh, one of their articles as a basis for my Screeps AI. I was playing around with behavior trees. I ultimately moved away from behavior trees. I feel that they're not as robust as other systems, but uh, to a certain degree, they're not so bad. I actually use a, a sort of, how do I put it, a hybrid between a behavior tree. Um, a sort of hybrid behavior tree. It, it, the problem with the behavior tree is it has to navigate the whole tree. You can do kind of shortcut things, try and skip over steps, which you don't know. And depending on how you've built the behavior tree, you might you might skip over massive sections of decision making and, and testing um, uh, for whether that behavior would be would be warranted in in this point or that point. Blah blah blah. But I opt for a bit of a more robust graphing system where the AI can very quickly decide big decisions based on normalized values on all of the things that it might try to be do uh, it might be wanting to do at any any point um, and then when I've got a specific task nailed down I switch over to a behavior tree for it you are coming with me This might make me very heavy. Shockingly, it did not. All right. I approve, I think. Very well. Okay, that's the only thing I really wanted to take with me. Uh, the opposite, uh, Jessna, um, as far as I'm aware, a closed door is more attractive to a zombie. Now, this is based on old information. It's based on the, the blog post, so they may have changed that up at this point in the behavior. If you've observed things differently, then that may well be true. Again, I am very new to this, so I'm, and I'm only talking from literally knowledge gleaned from an academic paper a long time ago. Well, sorry, a blog post, but, you know, more... In, in the sense of it's, it's book learning knowledge rather than practical knowledge, uh, practical experience rather. Um, the zombies find closed doors more attractive. And it's just a, whether that's because they think that the, the zombies would do that, like within law, or because it's more of a gimmicky gamey thing. 
Uh, are we doing Apocalypse or Sandbox then? What? <laughs> are those the only two that you're aware of? We're doing Survivor. I come back to have that giving a lecture on here. That's not a lecture. And Jessna, I, I know that the show started 6, 12 and 6. Yeah, I'm sure you're right about the mechanics. I'm just saying I prefer them to not see me at all instead of trying to look... Oh, no, no, yeah, no, absolutely. It, it's it's ideal not to to be spotted. Um, oh, what happened there? That went off pretty quickly. Okay. TV's off. Uh, but yeah, um... I I am very much a uh, a Shadowrun player in that regard. I like I like to imagine that my plan, perfectly set out with weeks of prep work, because my fixer was a good fixer and told me about a job well ahead of time, gave me ample time to scope out the uh, the the location, to get the names and IDs of the various guards, to find out about their families, to find out about certain conditions, to bribe the ones I could bribe, to threaten the ones I could threaten, to basically lay the tracks. So all I need to do is move the train from the start of the track to the end of the track, nice and smooth and great. However, I also am the type of Shadowrun player who has a B plan for their B plans, B plan, B plan. <laughs> We will go all the way down the list to our Z plan. If you give me enough time, there will be no potential event in this this run that I won't have at least anticipated. Whether I have a good way of dealing with it, that's an entirely different matter, depending on the other players involved. But you know, if I'm if I'm giving the scope, I am like a gas when it comes to to mirror shades. I will expand. And I will seek out every nook and cranny that I can possibly use. Never deal with a dragon, yes. Yes, that's that's the first part. If anything involves dealing with a dragon, it is an automatic no. There we go. We've now got a microwave chat. Hooray. What else did I bring back with me? Uh, pants, boxes, other bits and bobs. Things that I don't need. But I brought them back anyway because I'm dumb. Actually, we always need a corkscrew. What about when I get wine? My lord. Oh, Yogbo, thank you very much for the gift sub, mate. And Matt Karma as well. The Jochen for the gift sub there too. Uh, cow fishy. Or KO fishy. I'm not actually sure. But yeah. Just because I will endeavor not to end up in the situation whereby... Uh, I have to, you know, you know, I don't plan to have to use the strategy to, to get away from zombies that have found me, but I like there being an opportunity laid out there for me to use should that ev event happen. It's never a bad idea to have an escape plan. Well, Met Karma, thank you so much. And thank you so much for the, the message you sent, sent me on, on, on Twitch. Uh, I only read it uh, a little bit ago because Twitch is, you know, shockingly good at not telling you when someone sent you a message. But thank you. It really, really did mean a lot to me. Right. Let's head on down here. Oh, actually, uh, I'll mark that map when we get back. This is still our first character of the stream. Indeed. Indeed it is. We're slowly barricading this house. Why? I don't know because I'm fairly certain that this is kind of a bad idea, but Ooh, French doors. Hmm. Nothing I can do with this. No. Is there really nothing I can do with it? No. See, there's a clothesline. I want the stuff on the clothesline. I do not want this plastic molded chair. Yuck. However, bringing that back might not be a bad idea. Because, uh, isn't that like a charcoal... Uh, barbecue, could, would I be able to use wood or charcoal to fire that? Let's scout this place out. Actually. Uh, this is solo. I'm learning the game. I, I, 
Okay, if I said if I said something like I wouldn't want to inflict myself in multiplayer, you might assume that I'm actually trying to tell you something, but I'm not because if I were to if you were to assume that I was saying that, it would make me into an accidental liar. Did it not see me? But yes, th this is solo so I can be a better multiplayer player. Because that is relevant. Big house. Bumbles up there, zombie over here. I'll probably deal with you. Only dreams. Only dreams now. That's right. Time to sleep forever. There you go. All the pain and the suffering and the hunger. It's all over now. I'd be shocked if the dappling stream sniped. I don't think it's in their nature. Leaving this is an escape avenue. I can easily open the door. Stop making me hurt you. A stake. Mm. Okay. I'll use it. Office. Maybe I want to move into this bloody house. I know there was probably one down here, wasn't there? Oh, was that the one we just killed? It might have been the one we just killed. Okay. Okay. Alex, thank you very much for the reset there for 17 months. Good morning to you, mate. I'm much preferring this place. Should have had my weapon out at that point. That was silly of me. This place is very nice. Not gonna lie. An easy way to check the corners when moving in these places, it seems. Those are the doors behind me, so I know where I've been. Uh, it's more so that I don't get confused, actually. Oh, you've got a uh, washer in here as well. Nice. Right, last room. Oh. Okay. Chat. I am feeling inclined to relocate. Nice. I am strongly inclined to relocate. Ooh. Foraging for beginners.
Now, problem is, do I even need to relocate? Realistically speaking, is this house more useful to me? Not really. Thinking about it, I don't need space. I've got all the space I'll ever need already. This, like, my... My problem is not having enough room for all of my, my junk. Quite the opposite, actually. Got plenty of room for everything I could possibly want. A larger place is going to require more protection. And we've got massive... Um, oh, wow. Chocolate chips. Wow. Are we going to be making a cake? Oh. Uh, well, that's a shame. Grab everything I can while I'm here. 